Uh, it should be giving people the regulars about life, uh, like food and all that. Well, obviously they went short up on food, but they just wanted to make sure that there was a balance in between the two. Um, there was a quick recession in 1953. Um, it happened because the interest rates were growing and the Federal Reserve didn't step in in time. And a lot of people started saving and didn't really spend money at that time. And then uh, the last part is John F. Kennedy, when he came into office, he made a huge tax cut. And then the GI bills were um, spent out, which basically they give people money so they can educate themselves and stuff like that. People who were coming over, like veterans from the war. And about $200 billion in war bonds were matured, which basically people bought those bonds during the time of the war. So $2 billion, $200 billion of those came into effect. Uh, the Vietnam War, uh, during the time, it was split between the North, who were the communists, and the South, who were the uh, capitalists. The North uh, mainly focused on manufacturing and coal, while the South focused on agriculture and rice. And during the war, uh, it caused a loss of lots of skilled workers, and no, no profit was made during the war. There's nothing to gain from it. Uh, after the war, the uh, two governments combined and formed the, the uh, socialist-oriented uh, market economy. And since the end of the war, which was 79, uh, the growth rate has been roughly 8% since then, until now. But it's close to the inflation rate, so I, there hasn't been any major problems since then. Uh, during the Vietnam War, the uh, CIA uh, funded uh, covert operations by smuggling opium from uh, Vietnam. Um, they paid for all well, their operations because they could make a large profit by bringing it into the U.S. and selling it there. This is a similarity with Afghanistan because Afghanistan uh, currently uh, opium 